So I figured I would do something a little different today and actually come and tour one of our customers' homes being built. One of the things I like to pride myself on is that I come out here every single stage and I just check up on it. I take photos and videos and send them to you. But I also like to throw up a level, make sure everything is looking plumb and level. Even when they pin the lot and they put the form boards up and they get ready to pour the foundation, I wanna make sure that the form board is basically square. So I'll pull my long tape and make sure it is all square and there's nothing out of square. Cause obviously when they go to lay flooring, the walls, any of that stuff that's gonna throw it off. So it's, you know, for me, really important. I know some customers, they don't care about those things or don't think about those things. If you are building a new construction home, whether you're using a realtor, you're doing it yourself through the salesperson, please, please, please just make sure you hire a home inspector, maybe before pre-drywall walkthrough, let them come out and inspect the property, make sure that there's no issues that they can see or they're, they're aware of before they put up the drywall. That's one of the last things you wanna do is have issues after the fact and they've gotta tear everything out. So let me go ahead and spin you around here. We're in the garage right now. This is an insulation stage. So it's getting ready to be, um, have the board hung. But a lot of the things that I like to do is that when I'm coming in here is I like to take my six foot level because you always want to make sure you got a six foot level. And I want to make sure that all the studs are plumb and level uh, because that's you know, obviously going to affect the way the drywall is hung. You also want to make sure that you're putting your level before they put the door on and stuff at the block stage after it's blocked up. You really want to make sure that the doorway, the block on each side of the doorway is plumb, meaning that it's dead center on that level. Not a little bit to the left, not a little bit to the right, but it's actually dead center. Because if it's not, it's going to throw the whole door off and then you're going to have issues from there forward. So you really want to make sure that's a big, big factor is making sure that that's taken care of. Now this construction manager, really good. He's done a great job. As you can see, he's got even on the floor, there's a lot of highs and lows. So he marked it all out. So when they do the floors, they can float it to make sure that everything is level. And then just coming through and kind of checking all the outlets and switches, making sure they're at the proper height. So that way everything's the same. I mean. Most of the time from what I've seen with new construction is when they put the wall plates on, the switches are always crooked. The plates, they're always up, down, left or right or whatever. So they, those have to always be fixed. Another thing you want to check, this is when they're putting it in uh, before they pour the foundation. They're running the wires for an in-ground outlet. Again, you want to pull tape off the form board from there and then from on the end of the uh, island there, the kitchen. And you want to make sure it's the right dimensions that show up on the electrical. Uh, so that way then you have no issues with that. Another factor is now you do a pre-drywall walkthrough. And on, you know, one of them I had, they missed the outside cameras that were paid for. No big deal. Got it fixed. But again, you want to be present. If you can't be present, I've had buyers who couldn't be present. I would show up. I'd be here. We'd FaceTime. But I also get a copy of any structural options you chose, design options, you send me everything. Then I put it into my system and then that way when I'm coming out every time, I'm making sure that we're not missing anything. That's why I shoot the photos and the videos and send them to you as a customer because then you're also checking it and have your eyes on it to make sure I didn't miss anything because I, I miss things as well. I mean, I'm only human. So the more eyeballs that you put on this, the better. And the better it's going to be so you have no issues with the house long term. That's the last thing you want to do is have any issues. You know, and then just coming in through here, just checking everything, making sure, you know, they've got the plates down there where all the plumbing is. That's got to be everywhere where all the plumbing is. So that way then if someone drills, does anything, they're not going to hit it or cause any issues. You know, just checking the AC vents, making sure they look like they're in the right place, that they should be there. Because, you know, there's really no diagram for these guys. They kind of put it in where they think it should go. So you just kind of want to make sure, again, that all that stuff looks right. There's no issues. And even with these tray ceilings, I always like to look up at them and make sure, you know, are they straight? Do they look, you know, all the way down? There's no bows in them or anything like that. So when they put up the drywall and everything, everything looks right. There's no issues. 
even in the doorways, again, I've seen in doorways where the casing will start out wide at the top and go narrow to the bottom. That's because the framing was off. So, you know, you want to take a straight edge and put a straight edge on it and make sure that everything is square and plumb so you don't run into those issues. There's a lot of details that even I still learn going through these builds. And I've been doing this for 23 years. So for me, you know, you really, really, really want to make sure that you have as many eyeballs as you can on this. You hope that you get a good construction manager. That to me is everything is really having that conversation, making sure that they, you know, really are dialed in, that they really understand construction. Um, because to me that <laughs> they, they are, your eyes for everything on this thing, making sure that everything is being done correctly. And like I said, I come out every stage. If I see stuff wrong, I'll take pictures. I had one house, there was some delaminated plywood on the roof. I sent, took pictures, sent them to the customer. They reached out to the construction manager and they got it fixed before they dried it in. Because again, things like that, they're just gonna gloss over it. They're not gonna care and they're gonna keep going. Could it have caused any issues? I don't know, but for me, I'd rather have it done right. You're buying a brand new home. That's the whole point to it. So I wanna make sure that every stage, it looks like it's supposed to be and it's done right. And like I said before, if I'm not sure, then I'll reach out to my contractor buddy who's been doing this for probably 30 years. And he will tell me if it's right or not. And in that way, then I let you know and I give you an explanation so you can pass along to the construction manager. So if you're looking for somebody who's gonna be on your side and who's gonna be an advocate for you to make sure that the build is done right, then my information will be, be below. My name is Frank Harris. I'm broker owner of Coast to Coast Home Realty. Again, like I said before, I've been doing this for 23 years. I sell a ton of new construction, more than resales, only because I find it to be a better value Overall, it's energy efficient. On insurance, you're gonna save. So for me, I found that most people, if they have the eight to 10 months to wait, then that uh, is what they go for, is the new construction. Even if you're doing it on your own, please, please, please hire a home inspector. Do not go in on your own. You really wanna have somebody there for you as an advocate. So that way then you get a report the other thing I always recommend too is when the house is complete and you're doing the punch out, obviously I'm there as well, hire a home inspector, have a home inspection done because they give you a nice full 30 to 40 page detailed report with pictures, descriptions, and then from there it gets turned over to the builder and they have a nice list, detailed list with pictures to get everything done. So that way then, we have no issues you know they can the other thing that i do too now because a lot of these builders won't allow uh, the inspectors up on the roof for liability issues so they'll either have something or a drone or something but i always take my drone and i fly it up after the drywall walkthrough if they have the home inspection done just to make sure if they came back and they did have to fix any roof tiles if any of them slipped any of that stuff that they actually did it uh, because I've been a few that they say they did it and it wasn't done. So then I take pictures, again, send them to you and you send them to the construction manager. And this way you have documentation and you're protecting yourself. So that way then if there's any issues, you have that to go back on. So I hope this helps if you are looking at new construction because a lot of these builders, they all pull from the same trades. So again, it really does a lot of times come down to the construction manager, your realtor, uh, because unfortunately, I hate to say this, but that salesperson that you use at the model, yes, they're really nice up front, but remember one thing, their job is to sell. They have to meet a quota every single week of how many homes they have to sell. So once they get you on the contract, typically, and I, like I said, I've been doing this a long time, most, I say 90% of those salespeople, you never hear from again, or they might send you some pictures here and there, but they're not gonna be your advocate. They're not gonna be really looking like I'm gonna look to make sure that the house is being built the way it's supposed to. 
So again, my information will be down below in the description. Frank Harris, broker owner, Coast to Coast Home Realty. I'm here if you have any questions. Thanks.